A Kimball High School basketball player in San Antonio for the state tournament has been arrested after police say his gun went off, hitting and injuring a girl. 18-year-old Kyron Henderson is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. The accidental shooting happened on the team's charter bus. The victim is a student trainer who traveled with the team to San Antonio. She had surgery and is recovering. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us now with more details. Lori. Heather, the injured student is back in Dallas now after being released from the hospital in San Antonio. The superintendent drove to San Antonio this afternoon to attend tonight's semifinal game and make sure that things run smoothly, a promise that he made to the UIL. This is a sad day for Dallas ISD. Superintendent Michael Hinojosa briefed reporters at a news conference called on short notice about the Wednesday night shooting involving a player on the Kimball High School boys basketball team. San Antonio police arrested 18 year old Kyron Henderson after police say he fired a gun on board the team's charter bus, injuring an 18 year old student trainer in the leg. The team had just finished a practice at a school facility in San Antonio to prepare for the state championship tournament. As they were leaving to go to dinner uh, on the charter bus, the gun discharged. I don't have any details about well, you know, how the gun discharged, if it was an accident or what happened. All I know is the gun discharged and one of our students was injured and she was taken to the hospital immediately. Police now say it appears the shooting was accidental as Henderson was moving the gun inside a bag. He is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a firearm on school property, both felonies. This was Henderson earlier this week after his team won the 5A regional championship on Saturday. Kimball High School's coach reacted to the team rallying behind Henderson after he fouled out during the overtime win against Frisco Memorial. I told them they weren't going to gonna let him down. Uh, they said they were going to win the game, and he cheered them on like a true senior is supposed to do. The Fox 4 photojournalist who covered the game took this picture of Henderson holding up the team's regional UIL championship trophy. We got a mission right now. We got to go down I-35 and not win one game, but win two games. There was excitement among the team and fans at Wednesday's send-off. The team, ranked number two in the state, is trying to earn a 5A championship after finishing as the runner-up last year. There are no excuses for what happened last night. The district removed Henderson from the team immediately. Dr. Hinojosa said the UIL agreed to allow the rest of the team to still compete for the state title. They agree with us that you shouldn't punish the entire team for the actions of a few or an individual. Dr. Hinojosa said while the UIL has checks for spectators going into the game, the team is under less scrutiny. Police say Henderson owned the gun, but it is not clear why he allegedly took it onto the bus. You would assume that if it's students that we know that are part of our team, that I wouldn't put that on the bus company. Uh, and that's our responsibility to check. Something that may be part of regular protocols in the future. It should be people that you trust. That's what's so sad about the situation. I mean, we're, they've played 30 games this year. They've traveled all over the country as one of the top basketball teams in the country. Kimball High School is playing Beaumont United in the semifinal tonight at 7 p.m. Dr. Hinojosa said he does not want this incident to, to tarnish the rest of the team's image. If they win, Kimball will go on to play for the state championship.